Joe Gregori was my baseball coach in Little League when I was about eight years old. I just remember being on the baseball field and when he came to, whenever he talked with a kid one-on-one, -on -one, he would always get down on a knee. And I remember him talking to me on the field once and he was down on his knees, so it was eye to eye. And it just, I never forgot that. Our school began a new tradition this past Monday by celebrating what would have been the 70th birthday of Joseph Gregori. We wanted to start a tradition that on his birthday every year, we would honor him and kind of share and make a connection with students so that they kind of had a feeling of who he was. Mr. Gregori and uh, his family and my family were very close growing up. As my sister and I got older and we started dating in high school, he would interview them like my father would interview them. You can see how young he looks there. And that was his first administrative job at La Loma as the VP there. He was there supporting all of our activities and promoting the school and promoting a positive school environment. And he had an amazing way of diffusing the tension and getting back to the focus of what do we need to do to help this student. If you knew him, you knew how much he loved school and he loved education and helping out others. You know, he had discipline, he was strict, he was tough, but he was fair. And the kids respected that. He was a great choice for uh, a school being named after. No one could make an argument against him. And I think that's why ultimately it ended up being named after him. I always think every single day when I'm meeting with students or families, you know, how can I honor him in the decisions that I make? The celebration of Gregory's birthday will continue next year and beyond. Reporting for JNN, this has been Liliana Lopez and Jessica Rios.